this is your beehive, and this is where the bees live. So the beehive itself is actually kind of like misleading because it just looks like a single tower that goes up. And because all the boxes are the same color, it looks like they're just kind of all the same. However, they all serve a different purpose. So these two bottom boxes are where the bees start out. So when you first order bees or when they come out of hibernation, they'll only be living in these two bottom boxes. So that's where the queen lives. And the queen is very important because she lays all the eggs. She's the only uh, bee that can reproduce. So she's down in these two boxes, she's laying eggs, and the worker bees are feeding her, bringing her honey, things like that. So they're storing not only honey in the bottom for her, but they're also storing her eggs. And that's, what's, that's how the, the queen, that's how the colony's reproducing. So during the summer, when the honey flow is what's referred to when the bees start to bring the pollen in, once the honey flow starts, the bees are bringing too much in. So these two boxes can't support all that honey. So what you have to do is start adding more boxes for the bees to build up. However, the queen needs to stay down here in these two boxes because if the queen comes up, she'll lay eggs in the honey and ruin it. So you, can't, you don't want to eat honey with little you know, bee eggs in it. So basically what happens is you put this, I don't know if you can see it or not, but you put this little screen in between these two boxes and it's what's called a queen excluder. And so the queen is about the size of your pinky finger. So she can't fit through this screen. Only the smaller worker bees can. So the worker bees come in the bottom, they come up through these boxes and they start to store the honey in these boxes. The queen is living below, laying eggs and such, but she can't come up and ruin the honey. So in the fall, when we take the honey off, we take these boxes off and those, that's where we actually get the honey. So each of the boxes can hold anywhere from about 25 to 40 pounds of honey. So within each of these boxes are these frames. Each box holds 10 frames. So these frames have, and there's different types of frames that you can get. The ones I use have this plastic base and they're already in like the shape of a honeycomb. And so as the bees move in, they'll put like this waxy substance on it. It's beeswax and they'll build onto it. And it takes kind of a long time for them to build on. So generally what you want are frames that already have the wax on them. And so it's a lot easier for the bees to take to that and they can start building on. So you can see that this frame they had already started to build on and each of those little cells is what they fill with honey or eggs depending on what part of the hive they're in. So this will get full and what will happen is when it's full of honey you just take your hot knife and you uncap it and then the honey drips right out of it. So uncapping is the process of actually taking the top layer of wax off the honey. So when the bees put the honey in they'll make wax and put it right over the honey otherwise the honey would just drip out. So when you pull the, the frame up, it'll be all completely covered in wax. So no honey will be able to come out. So what happens is you have to take a hot knife. So it's a blade that has a, a, an electric element in it and you plug it into the wall or whatever and it heats up and then you simply cut through the beeswax and it uncaps it. So there's a few pieces of equipment that you would use when you're actually working with the hive. Uh, one of the most important ones is the smoker. And the smoker is something that every beekeeper has handy and basically what it is is it's a little a little cylinder and you stuff papers or dry twigs leaves whatever into it and you light it on fire and as it's going you squeeze this and it pumps air into it and it produces smoke and as it produces smoke it pushes it out of this little hole in the top so you can really aim it. And so what you do is you spray a little bit of smoke into the bottom and into the opening on the top and when the bees smell that their natural instinct is to think it's a forest fire. So they want to leave the hive. So what they do is they gorge themselves on honey but they go so much they eat so much that it's it makes them lethargic makes them lazy like after a big meal. So they can't move as quickly and in some cases they can't move at all. So people think that the smoke actually like knocks them out. It's not the smoke, it's the amount of honey that they eat because of the smoke. So after you smoke them, you actually have to wait like maybe five to 10 minutes and then they can 
they, they, they're calm down enough. So aside from that, if you're working with a, a hive that's active, you want to wear a bee suit. So a bee suit is very much like you see on TV. It's a full body covering. You step into it, you zip it up, and you have a veil that goes right over your head. So also what I tend to wear when I work with bees, and not every beekeeper does, are gloves. And the bees have not stung me through these yet. So, so far, so good.